Now we're going to do some calculations with a rotary spreader to be calibrated and we're going to determine the nutrient that is being applied. And in this example we have selected a 3200 source and we want to deliver it at a level of one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. We have determined with this product that the width of spread is 11 feet and our calibration length, we're limited in how much air we have to work with. We've got a 50 foot long test course to work with, so it's 50 feet in length. We're going to weigh out 5 pounds of 3200 to start with, so we've got a known weight. We place that in the spreader hopper. And the known weight, if we have access to, and for our first part of this example, we're going to say we do, it's not really important. You just want to make sure you've completely covered the bottom of the spreader. In this case, we are going to first use what's called a spreader skirt. A spreader skirt is an attachment that goes over the impeller and collects anything that's being applied across your calibration course. So it's a neat tool to have to your access. And we've selected just some random setting that's in the medium range of our particular spreader. We don't know if this is anywhere near correct, but uh, we'll start right in the middle and begin working from there. After making a single pass across our calibration course, we determined that we've collected eight tenths of a pound of 3200 in that spreader skirt. So we've collected eight tenths of a pound of 3200. That leads us to two questions to determine. What was the level of nitrogen that's being delivered at this current setting on the spreader? And then how much 3200 should be collected in order to apply a desired level of one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Okay, so let's first determine our area within the calibration course, and that's 11 feet in fertilizer width spread times 50 feet, which is our course length, 11 times 50 equals 550 square feet in our calibration area. Now, we know that we have applied, or in this case, we have collected 8 tenths of a pound of 3200. Now we're going to put our knowledge of how to work with the analysis of the nitrogen. 8 tenths of a pound of 3200, we take 8 tenths times 0 0.32, the nitrogen analysis, and that means that uh, 8 tenths, 32% of it is 0 0.26 pounds of nitrogen that's contained within that 8 tenths of a pound of 3200. Now, let's do some proportioning because we've also got other information in our problem that we can use. 0 0.26 pounds of nitrogen is being applied to 550 square feet. Correct? That's our calibration area that we just determined. Let's proportion that out to how much X pounds of nitrogen would that be on a thousand square foot basis, the units that we work most frequently with in these types of problems. So we cross multiply, divide, and we solve for x. And remember, anything is fair game to proportion as long as units on the top, in both cases here, pounds of n, pounds of n, units on the bottom, square feet, square feet, as long as those match. So we cross multiply, divide, and solve for x. We get a thousand times 0 0.26 and we're portioning that out to 550 times x. We do our multiplication and our division. We multiply over here 1,000 times 0.26. Over here, we're going to divide now both sides by 550. And our answer turns out to be we're currently delivering 0 0.47 pounds of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet. So we know our spreader setting is not quite where it needs to be. We're going to have to open it up just a little bit more and keep working towards uh, getting that desired one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. So the next thing we can do is determine, well, how much 3200 should we collect in order to apply the desired level, one pound of N per thousand square feet, over this 550 square foot area? So 
one pound of N, which is desired. Now we're going to divide by that nutrient analysis, 32%. Okay, so one pound of nitrogen divided by 0.32, that's going to give me a larger number. And this is going to be 3.1 pounds of 3200. And that's how much we would need to give us one pound of nitrogen. So we can set up another proportion. And we'll say that I would need 3.1 pounds of 3200 to be applied over a thousand square foot basis. That would give me the one pound of N desired. What is that if I proportion that to X pounds 3200? And let's put it on the calibration course area, which is 550 square feet. And again, we cross multiply, divide, and solve for x. So we've got 550 times 3.1. And over here we've got 1,000 times x. We do our multiplication, divide both sides by 1,000, and we end up with 1.7 pounds. And remember our units, 3200. 3200. That's how much of the product, 3200, that we'd have to collect over a 550 square foot area. We've got to figure out what that setting is. Once we can collect 1.7 pounds of that in the spreader skirt, we will be calibrated to deliver one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Now, if you don't have a spreader skirt, you can't actually apply the product to the area and that's where it matters about how much weight you started out with. If you started out with five pounds and you've now determined that you need to deliver 1.7 pounds, if you started out with five and if you took five pounds, and let's use our eraser here and say five pounds minus 1.7 pounds equals 3.3 pounds. That's how much would have to be remaining in your spreader if you did not have anything to collect and weigh it. You'd put five pounds in and you keep adjusting every time you'd add, make sure it's five pounds until you finally get to where you are applying 1.7 pounds over the 550 square feet calibration area. So those are calculations that will help you in uh, determining how to calibrate a rotary spreader to deliver a desired level of nutrient.